Cougars and the Tennessee Volunteers, Southeastern Conference rivals whose hard-hitting battles in the 90s have often determined the balance of power in the SEC. For the last five years, Florida has had its way on both sides of the ball, leaving the balls frustrated and searching for a way to end the Gators' celebration. Steve Spurrier's reign at Florida has been defined by his explosive high-octane offense. But this season, it is a take-no-prisoners defense that is expected to fuel the Gators' championship run. For Tennessee, folk hero Peyton Manning has graduated. And now the balls will depend on T. Martin as they begin defense of their SEC title. It's the Gators and the balls in an SEC showdown. NASDAQ College Football next on CBS Sports. the banks of the Tennessee River is 107,000 seat Neyland Stadium, home of the Tennessee Volunteers. And a festive atmosphere has surrounded the stadium all day as Vols fans gear up for their annual showdown with the Florida Gators. The Tennessee players made their traditional walk across campus and arrived confident that this will be the year they end their five-game losing streak against the Gators. It's number two, Florida, and number six, Tennessee. Hey guys, hope y'all are doing good. It's been a month since I've been on here, uh, but uh, off season is kind of slow, so there's not a lot to talk about. But what I did start last month was a thing called Vols Classic Rewind, where I'm picking a game that was a monumental win in Tennessee history. Uh, and the last game I talked about was the Tennessee-Alabama game from 1995. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And now what I'm going to do, I'm switching gears, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about the Tennessee-Florida game from 1998. Um, that was just a huge, huge win for Tennessee. It, it honestly might be the biggest win in Tennessee football history uh, ever, in my opinion. It was that big a victory because, honestly, we won the national championship that year, and without this win, we don't play in the national championship. We don't play in the SEC championship. There was so much at stake in this game, and on top of that, just how good this Florida Gators defense was. This 98 Florida Gators defense was probably the best Florida Gator defense in my opinion, ever. That's just my opinion. That that team had Javon Curse and just a lot, a lot of good defensive players on this team. But anyway, um, going into this game, Tennessee had lost the last five games uh, in this series from 1993 to 1997. Uh, we were honestly whipped in most of those games. Tennessee or uh, Florida was just dominant in those games. Uh, the, a couple things that Florida did was they owned the line of scrimmage. Uh, they did not let us run uh, for many yards at all. In most of those games, I don't think we rushed for over 50 yards. That's very dominant. And they were able to run the ball pretty well on us, and we were not able to really get any kind of pressure on Danny Warfel, Doug Johnson, whoever was their quarterback. So Florida was just whipping our butt. They had our number, even though Tennessee was a very dominant team in the 90s and, and we were beating everybody else, we weren't getting past Florida. But that changed this year. Uh, Tennessee was able to get over the hump. You know, we tore the goalpost down. Uh, and, it was, and, it, and through this game, we were able to win the national title, win the SEC title. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do just exactly like I did in the last video. Uh, I'm going to go over some uh, highlights. Um, I'm going to go through the, you know, the, some of the main parts of this game, some big, some of the big plays that we had, uh, which ultimately led to us winning this game. And then I'm just going to come back and kind of break down the stats on, you know, how we were able to win this game. So anyway, without further ado, here is the uh, 1998 Tennessee Florida game. Sean Bryson, the fullback. And he hands the ball. 
ball to Bryson, who rips through. He may go. Touchdown, Tennessee. quarterback or he'll start throwing the ball around that field he wants those chains to move he's an offensive genius and he wants that ball up and down the field Doug Johnson flushed from the pocket and dropped near the line of scrimmage out of the shotgun Doug Johnson on third and long and he has a first down to Travis Taylor he lost the football And it has been recovered by Tennessee. In Gainesville. Third down. Johnson lost the football. Al Wilson knocked it out. Tennessee ball. for Tennessee. He'll be in the middle of the screen. Number 27. He just comes on that blitz. The ball is pumped. He's the one that strips it. Tennessee recovers. It's on that ground. Fred is at a Neyland Stadium watching Jeff Hall attempt a 39-yard field goal. Benson Scott, the holder. Kevin Gregory, the snapper. On the left, hash mark. And he is good. Jeff Hall, the senior from Winchester, Tennessee, gives the Volunteers their largest lead of the night. It's 10-3. Second and 10. He's sacked way back at the 35-yard line by Jeff Coleman. Martin does. An entertaining first half. It wasn't always pretty. Mistakes on both sides. But as usual, exciting and intense when these two teams get together. Here's Mike Mayock. That first half, minus three yards, minus three yards rushing, three turnovers, all the penalties. You a little frustrated? Well, fortunately, we got that one at the end there. I right. think that's going to be a big break for us, hopefully. Okay, coach, how about in the second half? Do you do anything differently? Try to hold on to the ball. Good luck. Our defense playing super low. Sure are. Good luck, coach. All right, thank you, Mike. The end of the first half, the score, Florida 10, Tennessee 10. As good as advertised, they gave up one big play. They were tremendous in the first half. Tennessee defense holding its own, a sack, the third sack, played a great series of defense right there, so Philip Fulmer, his team is emotionally at the right peak, they're ready to play for 60 minutes, and a quick hitter, Jamal Lewis gets three, Tico Brown tackled him, a gain of 18 for Lewis, there's the man, watch him, he ought to be a trench warrior. He kicks it out, opens that hole. And Lewis is free again. So they found something on these first two runs by Lewis here in Southern Tennessee. Doug Johnson, the quarterback. And there it is Jackson back inside the two by Raynock Thompson. Excellent field position to start this possession. For Tennessee at the Florida 29. T. Martin lofts it up, looking for Peerless Price. Lots of contact. Touchdown! <laughs> they really couldn't. Now, this year, Tony George moved from safety to corner, which is a change. And as you said, Doc Pollard, they have another new corner there. So they're not quite the same as they were a year ago. Martin just 4 of 11 passing to 44. They get it to Jamal Lewis. And he rumbles out to the 35-yard line. Tackled again by Rod Grady. Lewis starting to find some room here in the third quarter. Palmer has the better numbers. Johnson is the quarterback on this play. Has Travis McGriff. Fumble! Still loose. Tennessee ball at the 35. 
36-yard line. Hit on Johnson. Now it's Palmer, quarterback for midfield. A lot of time. Deep down the middle. Man open. Intercepted. The ball underthrown, and Deion Grant picked it off. Looked like a one-handed catch over the middle. Palmer had a man open behind the defense, but the ball was short, and Grant got it. Field with under three and a half minutes remaining in the tie game. Palmer swarmed under. Back at the 41-yard line. Fred White on a safety blitz, and just as he was saying it, unblocked people coming for Tennessee. Here's another. I think he brings the heat. I think they like to play pressure defense. That's, that's in their heart and soul. They do bring extra people, and it works. Palmer sacked by Chris Ramsour, a backup linebacker. In each overtime session, it's not sudden death where the first team that scores wins. Wow. One team should not score, then the other team scores, it's over. One score, the team scores three points on its possession, the other gets seven, the team that scores seven right to the top. Sean, you think of the build-up to this game, Tennessee got to get some points out of here. Martin runs, he's in field goal range, he's back to the 24-yard line. Good job by T. Martin saving the day there. They did run inside routes, they tried to put some receivers in. Makeable kick. Jeff Hall, one of the best in the nation, senior captain of this Tennessee team. Kicked the game-winning field goal at Syracuse two weeks ago. This will be a 41-yard try. To give Tennessee the lead in overtime. Out of the hold of Benson Scott. That kick is right down the middle. Big 14-yard scramble by T. Martin and Travis McGriff and Travis Taylor on the same side. It's hard to cover those two guys. Second and 10. A blitz up the middle. The pass incomplete. Al Wilson having a monster night for Tennessee. Put the hit on Palmer. Who converted earlier the only attempt of the season by Florida. From 32 yards. That kick is... No good! Tennessee wins! What a game. It's good to look back and reflect on this game. Uh, and it was a crazy, crazy game. It was not a, it was a, it was an ugly game. A lot of turnovers. Uh, but at the end of the day, Tennessee won 20 to 17 uh, over uh, the number two Florida Gators. Uh, Florida committed five turnovers. Uh, Florida had negative 13 yards rushing, and that's why they lost this game. Uh, in the five years prior to this, uh, Florida had only had eight turnovers in five years. They had five in this one night. Uh, Tennessee had had 18 turnovers in the five games prior, and we only had one tonight. Uh, and Tennessee had only averaged like 69 yards rushing uh, in this game every year, and we had uh, 171 yards rushing. So the, the, the ability to run the ball, uh, and uh, limit our turnovers. Even though honestly, T. Martin was horrendous in this game. He didn't. He didn't beat us at least. And that's you know. And, and T. Martin in overtime was able to get that big run uh, to set up the Jeff Hall field goal. So great game. Uh, I like doing these videos. I like to reflect back on some of these monumental wins in Tennessee history. Uh, it was uh, uh, a great year. 1998 was. It was definitely the. The best year, in my opinion, in Tennessee football ball history, SEC champs, national champions, uh, and uh, just a whole list of All-Americans on this team and, uh, you know, players that I'll never forget. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching this, and uh, I'll probably try to do at least another video before uh, football season starts, and then we'll 
get into, uh, you know, the 2024 Tennessee Vols and the season and their opponents. But anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, watching this video and uh, let me know how you liked it. Thank you.